<laughs> Perfect timing. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I'm Professor McCoy. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. This time, it's the follow-up. It's the next one. Uh, we are on to Majora's Mask, uh, which... I, I, I've said this before. I have a hard time really deciding which is my favorite of the, of the two N64 Zelda games, but <clears throat> I lean a little bit towards Majora's Mask. Um, that said, it's not, like, absolutely better in every way. Um, there's a lot, a lot to love about Ocarina of Time, but at the same time, uh, I will say very confidently that this is, uh, this is a near-perfect sequel. Incredible follow-up to Ocarina of Time, and I am absolutely looking forward to going through this with you guys. So I'm going to let the intro play, uh, play through, because it gives us such a nice atmosphere. Um, I also didn't realize that this is the secondary introduction, but there's two different intros through, uh, through the menu. This is the outside of town intro. There's a, there's the last one I, I just watched while you guys were, I was waiting to go live. Um, is the one with this this whole thing. They go through this whole thing, but it's in it's just in Castletown. I didn't realize there was a separate one. There's that side of town. But anyway, that's what this is. So we're having a look around the strange, bizarre, upside down world of Termina. Which man, I tell you what, um I guarantee you that I'm going to be throughout this entire series, however long that might be. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it'll probably wind up being a little bit longer than Ocarina of Time, if only because of the various side quests. Um, though I don't know, the actual main story content is much shorter, so I might even know. Uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about Symbolic Inversion. Hey, Bass. How you doing? Good evening. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking, like I said, a whole lot about Symbolic Inversion and... Uh, Things like that, the the sort of uh, the the symbolic margin and center, and how they relate to each other, uh, all that sort of thing. Um, oops. There we go. Let us begin. Um, because again, this is uh, the, so much of of Termina is. Is Hyrule turned on, its head, turned on its head? In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family. Ooh. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. His text goes way too fast. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. The friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Ah, that sound really gives it away. It's actually really... a little bit... I mean, a lot of this game, oh my god, is so much of this game is just utterly depressing. Um, there's hope to it as well, but a lot of this game is really depressing. One of the only ones, one of the only things about this game that doesn't get, like resolved, one of the really sad and fairly depressing parts that doesn't get resolved is you don't ever, Link never finds Navi. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even think Navi shows up in the ending like the end finale sequence. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, base, for sure. Um, this, this definitely has more replayability. I mean... <laughs> The whole game is replayability. <laughs> Controller buzz. Every element of this game is just replay. Because it's the same three days, just just in a sort of eternal recurrence, if you will. And I will say eternal recurrence, knowing that that is a, that is a really specific Machain term that is not exactly uh, what I mean here. And uh, that is probably another topic that will come up, because in a lot of in a lot of sort of philosophical discussions of Majora's Mask, Eternal Recurrence gets brought up. Um, now, it's <clears throat> it's radically different. Right? Majora's Mask, the, the, the sort of time loop that Link gets sort of trapped in, deliberately traps himself in, so really, 
is radically different from the sort of Nietzschean idea of eternal recurrence, uh, which is which is about um, embracing the finitude of life that uh, that you should be so satisfied, you should act in such a way that you would be satisfied to relive uh, the same and, and reenact the same choices uh, in an eternal if you if they eternally recurred. That's kind of the idea. It's an it's an existentialist sort of point. Uh, it's a nihilistic. It's a sort of way of drawing meaning out of nihilism, if you will. Um, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely nothing to do with Majora's Mask because uh, you almost never will replay the same three days. You might if you're grinding for something, which I've done. I mean, you can grind in this game for rupees into your bank account, but that's it. That's the only time you'll replay anything like the same three days. <clears throat> So, yeah, all of the, um, all of the, the, I'll go ahead and say it, the pseudo philosophical analyses of Majora's Mask that that are that are all talking about eternal recurrence, just heard eternal recurrence and like oh, linked cognitive time loop. It's got to be the thing the nature was talking about. Mm. Yeah, not really. Is there are so many different reactions depending on the various circumstances you can influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly the point, right? It's not like you're experiencing the same three days. From Link's perspective, therefore, from our perspective, and also to some degree from the perspective of the sort of continuity of the game, it's it's not three days. Um, it's not three days repeating. Or it's not just going back through the same three days. It is one continuous timeline, like presentist timeline. It's just that we are going along that timeline in a sort of zigzaggy fashion. We're jumping back to the beginning of the objective timeline and just sort of going back through it. But our timeline is still contiguous, right? Our our timeline as as either Link or as the player. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, and then of course there is the the. All too interesting aspect of the uh, of the dragon break at the end, uh, the, to use an Elder Scrolls term, which I think the best way of describing it is that when you when you repeat, uh, no matter how many times you repeat the same three days, um, at the end we see that everything that you did sticks. Right, so all of the events, all of the accomplishments that you did, presumably through the magic of the ocarina. Uh, the Ocarina of Time, uh, get mashed together into one cohesive timeline. So all of the side quests that you finished, all of the temples that you cleared, uh, the stopping of the moon, the calling of the giants, everything that you accomplished, uh, which, man, that, and even the healing of the Skull Kid, um, all of that gets compressed into one three-day time period. So Link did, did all of this, uh, even though he, he like, did it from his own perspective, in in countless uh, individual sort of timelines, which is again a really fascinating fascinating way of resolving the problem of side quests in a game like this, and I like it. I, I really like how that's done. I wonder if he says anything good on him, huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Tell me if you outlast nihilism. Listen, I can outlast a lot of nihilism. I am, I am a professor of philosophy who mostly teaches undergraduates. I'm real practiced at outlasting nihilism. Ooh, oh, what a pretty ocarina! Hey, skull kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tell. What would you do? What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way! You can't touch it. Oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? <laughs> hmm. Thank you for the sympathy phase. It's not as bad as I make it out to be. I mean, sometimes it's bad, but uh, it's not as bad as I make it out to be. Now, I will say, 
The, no, the worst part is not the, uh, the the sort of dumb nihilism. Uh, there are two there are two parts of teaching which are actually frustrating. Um, two major parts, at least, that are genuinely frustrating. One is uh, having to deal with the same errors. The same errors over and over again, especially when I know where they come from, right? I know where a lot of the, the errors of, uh, not nihilism per se, but more like uh, the errors of um, uh, emotivism, that sort of thing. Um, various species of relativism, if you want. Uh, I know where these errors come from, and they come from, from realistically, they come primarily from early education. Um, the the problem is that solving those problems, correcting those errors, is an eternal process. It is an eternal return, so to speak. Uh, not in the Nietzschean way. In the uh, in the in the very irritating sort of way that uh, in the very irritating sort of way that makes it uh, borderline intolerable. But that's one issue. That's uh, one. I love the flips. I love the flips. Uh, the other issue is students not caring. Um, <laughs> just all the masks. It's not all the masks. It's a bunch of the masks. Cool. cool. I love this. The imagery for this is great. Uh, but yeah, the issue of students not caring is is almost as frustrating as, have, as having to sort of reteach the same, um, or I guess recorrect the same obvious errors over and over again. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. I mean, for example, I'll say today in class I had two classes. Right, I have two classes Tuesday, Thursdays. My first class was normal attendance, which was about fifty percent, which is about normal. Which is already troubling, but that's still about normal attendance, not bad. My second class, for some reason that I do not understand, I had one student in attendance. So we talked about the topic a little bit, we talked about Avatar The Last Airbender for a few minutes, and then I was like, alright, um, if there's anything else you got, any other questions or anything, feel free to ask them next week when more people are around, uh, and I've got a pre-recorded lecture. It's right here if you want. Have a happy Easter. <laughs> so... Yeah, no, Link is a season veteran. He's he is used to me uh, me doing spin attacks on bushes. There's no point in writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, boo hoo! Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me? <laughs> this is so so delightful and creepy. So much of this is just. The sound design combined with the imagery is just so good. Like the rattling. They did so much with the graphical limitations, especially. They're really impressive. I never. I. I don't know if I ever. I probably have realized this, but I, I forgot. He's his the like symbol under his feet that the light is casting is like an inverted, like a like a flipped triforce. So even that is just this wonderful little inversion of everything that we know. Hee <laughs> hee. Now that's a good look for you. You stay here, looking that way forever. Great, I get the Tinkerbell kind of fairy. Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I'd have gotten, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. 
Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? I can't see your face, it's too blowy. Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please? Come on, a helpless little girl is asking for you, so hurry up! Oh, tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. I don't care! Spinning! I really, really love the little, the little walking noise. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize. So, uh, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid that just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you out, deal? Please? Good, then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Toddle, so, uh, nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up. Again, with the diegetic control, control tips, like the tool tips. Kind of love it. Hopefully, you manage to get by without my help until then. Bay says, I managed... Uh, I actually rewound to make sure I had... Uh, I heard you right when you said 50% attendance. Can't believe that. I did the math and calculated the cost of individual classes. Never skipped after that. Yeah, right? Like, that's a... I, honestly, um... It's probably a little over 50%, but not much. Um, and I have small classes, too. I have classes that are... That are below 30. And I think I had... 13 or 14... I think 13, might have been 14. Something like that. Something in that range. So it was around maybe a tiny bit over 50% attendance, which is normal. Which is really normal, especially by this time, this late in the semester. Um, uh, attendance does tend to trail off as the semester goes on, especially after either Thanksgiving break or spring break, uh, which right now is after spring break, so, so it trails off. Um, Attendance also tends to be slightly higher on uh, earlier weekdays than later, so I get more students on Tuesdays than I do on Thursdays. Uh, but I, but that is that's minor. That's a minor difference. That's a, that's a difference of like one or two. Um, but yeah, no, I um, my average class attendance is is just over fifty percent. Yeah. Um, now I'll say that's not completely normal. Um, there are two. There are two major factors that have influenced that really significantly. One, um, one is COVID. Um, COVID hits and and all of the insane lockdown policies massively negatively influenced um, student habits uh, to the point where where students don't expect to have to show up because we trained them for two years to not show up to class and they were punished for showing up to classes in some cases, either literally or uh, or sort of figuratively. Either they weren't allowed to come to class because classes went fully online, or they were disincentivized from coming to class in some major way, whether that is um, by, uh, for example, that if we did this weird hybrid program, because we, our, our university and some others did, did a hybrid program where half the students were in the room, half were on the screen uh, through Zoom. And those students who were in the classroom um, didn't get anything particularly better than the students who were on the screen. Uh, in fact, they were probably harder to hear and harder to talk to and harder to to interact with uh, because of the mask requirements and such. Oh yeah, and then also, if you came into the classroom, you have to cover your mouth and nose the entire time. So like, why would you come to class when you have the option of not doing that? And why would you come to class now if you're used to never coming to class, right? So we basically have trained students to not give a shit for years. And now what happens? Well, what do you expect? Uh, so that's major factor number one. Major factor number two, though, is that St. Leo has a small uh, little private uh, private religious university. It has a pretty starkly divided student body between, uh, it's almost a, um, like, so normal student distribution is like a bell curve, right? You got a few, a few students, like, way over here who are absolutely dedicated, a few students who are, like, way over here who will never try 
under any circumstances. They will just fail. And then most students are there to get a degree and they'll do okay because they'll put, they'll put in the effort that they need to, to do all right. St. Leo is almost an inverted bell curve where um, you have a big chunk of students who are there specifically because they want to learn and they're dedicated. And you have a big chunk of students who are there because mom told me to and she's paying for this. And that's it. There are very few, like, there are very few C students, at least in my classes, uh, that I've found at St. Leo. You've got, I've got a lot of AB students, and I've got a lot of DF students. Um, and, and my classes are spectacularly easy because they're intro level gen ed classes. The entire purpose I have is I need to teach you something, and if you participate in the class, if you do all the assignments, you'll, you'll pass, and you'll probably learn something. But man, yeah, it's uh, it's it's rough. That that was always a bit of a problem. The sort of bifurcation between excellent students and students who never try at all. Uh, COVID just made it a lot worse because a lot of the policies, a lot of the, the sort of ways of doing things, especially online, online incentivizes students who care to get a lot out of the material to really dig into it, and students who don't care can just sort of skate by, just barely. And so it it, it extended that gap further. He says, uh, yeah, COVID policies were insane. Of course they were insane, absolutely. See my review, which is linked below, to, uh, to uh, this book, Diary of a Psychosis. I happen to have this right nearby because I was just talking about it in class last week. Um, yeah, absolutely insane. Un unbelievably destructive. I, I, we as a society, we'll, it will take, it'll take decades, if not generations, to recover from the destruction caused by COVID policies. Um, it says, to be fair, uh, I would always go out of my way to get to know my professors. One even came out with me to hear live music at, at the Mellow Mushroom. Uh, went to his wedding two years later. Oh, very nice, very nice. I have I have some students who I, who I keep up with for years. Um, and, and I even have, I have more than that, like students who I do get to know, like, like in and out of the classroom throughout the semester at least. Um, and a lot of those are the ones who care. And it sounds like you cared, which is, which is great. That's wonderful. Um, but like I said, there is, at, at most places, there is a, there's more or less a bell curve. So there's a, a few people, a few students who really care and are really self-starters and are really self-motivated and will dive into the topic like you're talking about. And there are a few students who will, who you cannot get to do anything. And there's a bunch in the middle who just sort of skate by. And they, they, they put in the effort that they need to to get the grade that they want. Um, <clears throat> but again, that's been that, that's been polarizing. I think more and more lately, and especially it's been polarizing more. That's it, Leah, where I'm used to teaching. All right, let's see. Anyway, that's a little bit of, uh, of academic inside baseball. I... Uh, if you search through my tweets, um, if you search through either my tweets or in uh, in the Discord server, uh, I do have a little thing of that where I posted my grade distribution for my classes from last semester, and the bell curve is just it's it's an inverted bell curve. Hey, if you if I call you, press up right away. I can tell you you're not very used to being a used to your Deku scrub body yet. All right, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on a Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to descend. Yeah, okay. You sure? One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Whoop. Let's go! I love this so much. This. Ah, oh, sweet! I got nuts! You can bomb with them. That's cool. I'm gonna equip them. 
Hmm. Should go around this. Right? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I was thinking of streaming Tuesday. I uh, rather than today this week. Um, but I have to say, I uh, I was still in the process of uh, of recovering from uh, from a really nasty sore throat. I basically lost lost my voice over the weekend. Uh, the kids caught something, brought it home, and we got it. So it was like a, like throat congestion kind of stuff. I'm still getting over it, but man, like Saturday was the worst of it. Basically, I sounded all day Saturday Saturday like I had just finished smoking my daily carton of cigarettes. It was, it was pretty bad. Press L, talk to me. Yeah, okay. Big paddle. There you go. See? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use L to look at them. See? Talk to them. Use L targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use L to look straight ahead. But enough about that right now. Come over to this tree and check it out. Yeah, okay. Why are you like this? Why does she have that voice? Why did I why did I give her the Brooklyn voice? I, I, I regret this. I'm not gonna change it, but it's strange. But the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it, it could start crying any second now. How sad. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that tree is uh that will come up later. But then also this I love that. The, the twisty thing. Oh yeah, so yeah, we were uh, we were watching the African Queen. Um, you showed up right near the end of it. Um, it is so that was so good. I had never seen it before. Um, I have only just recently started watching any Humphrey Bogart movies. I uh, over the last few weeks I've, I watched um, uh, Casablanca and Maltese Falcon, uh, neither of which I'd ever seen before, and um, and man. My gosh, African Queen is such a wild ride. It is insane, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Ridiculous. If anybody, anybody watching, <coughs> if you have not seen the African Queen, I recommend it. I heartily recommend it. It is not the kind of um, early 1950s uh, Humphrey Bogart movie like you're expecting. It is. Uh, it is a is a wild ride of what I would probably call a romantic comedy. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, as I was saying, I, uh, I, first of all, first of all, music, oh, this is, Majora's Mask, I think, probably has better music overall than Ocarina of Time, even if Ocarina of Time has a few tracks that are individually better. Like, the Forest Temple is just such good ambience, probably better than, than some of the Majora's Mask stuff, at least most of it. And, um, Gruta Valley, you just can't be Gruta Valley. But man, like, listen. So good. Um, and the other thing is that twisty hallway, that um, that will always remind me of uh, that, and well, I mean, they did the same thing in the Forest Temple, now that I mentioned the Forest Temple. Um, but it will always remind me of uh, they a twisty hallway like that as a gravity change uh, thingy interchange gravity interchange call it that sure um, from one of the uh, the Star Wars X-wing books um, the third one I forget which one it is I forget what it's called but it's the one with um, the one with Corrin Horn is in is in the Imperial Prison of the Song Camp. All right, cool. Anyway, it's a really good, really good series, really good book, all that. You've met the terrible fate, haven't you? No, I don't like that voice. I'm going to change it. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Right, something airy. Something airy is the right voice in the Happy Mask. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask shop. I travel far and wide in certain masks. Roman Holiday has Gregory Peck, not her Hepburn. We haven't seen it, so it's great. I haven't. I have not. That's another one. That's another one that I'd like to. Um, I also. What was the other one? What was the other one? Um, actually, no, that's not true. I have seen exactly one other Humphrey Bogart movie, uh, and I saw it a very long time ago, probably in middle school. Uh, Key Largo. 
I think I watched it as part of like a Florida history class, like way, 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 way long time ago. So, and that, I remember it was pretty good, but I don't remember much of it. I'd like to watch it again. But otherwise, I, I've I'd never seen a, a hungry program movie, at least not in full. Um, I need to get into film noir, generally more as well. I, I like the genre, but I'm not. I haven't watched a lot of it. So, mm. I own. Oh, I said I said that. During my travels, a very important maps was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. Man, the... Should I, I? I almost feel like changing the voice because I feel like he should sound like Michael Malice. But I can't do an impression of Michael Malice, so maybe not. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task? I love the, the, like, he just completely just changes from animated position to animated position. I, I love it. I love how creepy he is. In a in a way that's just simpler to animate, but still, like, ah. Man, it's it's so good, because he's so uncanny. Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. Except the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. I I got I this so good. This game is so good. Hmm. Good morning, Luck Town. He gives me the creeps that mass salesman was the Sorry, just thinking out loud. Now, I'll say as well, um, maybe unrelatedly, um, first of all, I love the Clock Town theme. Second of all, something that came to mind recently um, is, I, I don't know what made me think of it, I guess it was the ticking of the clock and the fact that this, is, this music is at 90 beats per minute. Um, at least now it is. It, it accelerates significantly. Uh, later on, I think to 160, 180. I think it's 180. I don't know. It, it's it gets up there, it gets to a heck of a clip. Um, it might just get to 120. But I have a um, having been in marching band in high school and college, I have a constantly a constant metronome click in my head of 120 beats per minute. No matter what, it's always going. Uh, which, by the way, uh, means that when I first played this, because I first played this game when I was in middle school band, and I was used to playing with a metronome, and I was used to playing with a metronome at either 60 or 120 beats per minute, um, I had no trouble whatsoever doing the hardest side quest in this game not to cheat on, which is the postman's side quest, getting the bunny hood, where you have to count out 10 seconds and you have to hit it dead on the spot at 10 seconds, I did it the first try when I was like 10. Just because I have that 60 beats, or that 120 beats per minute. Just that constant little metronome just going in my head at all times. It was already there when I was like 10 when I first started learning to play, uh, learning to play in a band. So, yeah, 
Anyway. It's a great thing, and it never leaves your head. Once you once you get that in there, it's always there. For three days? Even if we never sleep, that just leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what she's up to. What he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. All right, let's uh, let's rush this because I'm super duper paranoid. Oh no, dog! Oh god, stupid dog. Um, I'm super duper paranoid about the first 72 hours of this game. And by 72 hours, I mean 72 minutes because the timer goes uh, one hour per minute. Um, I always am. It is always stressful the first time through. Hi, I need a map. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy, sir? Could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Dingle. I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. The last, though I'm already the age of 35. No fairy has yet come to me. Well, I've got a few years. Just a couple. I've got a few years before a fairy to still show up. Although, I don't dress like that. Maybe I should. No, I won't. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. <laughs> now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Mm, lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. You know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Ah, base says, fun fact, depending on the day you go to the observatory and use the telescope, the Skull Kid's reaction will be different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forget what the differences are, but I had noticed them before. Would you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yes, I need Clock Town. I don't need Woodfall yet. Yippee! Alright. It comes with a compass, too. Well, call again! Tingle, Tingle, Oolimpa! <laughs> These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. OC, don't steal. <laughs> I... I just can't do Tingle. What more? It's so absurd. Okay, I need to do a couple of things. Uh, can I jump up there? No. Can I walk up the slide? I don't think I need to, but I can. No, whatever. Um. Be -doo, be -doo. Hey, aren't you going to the Great Fairy Shrine near the North Gate? Yeah, that's where I am. Whoa, look at that time. You don't even have three days left. Yeah, I noticed. Shut up. This is it, right? Or is it over there? I forget. It's been a while. <gasps> Fairies found them. Oh no, the Great Fairy! I actually don't remember where, f where to find the fairy. I know it's I know you can only find the fairy shard at night. I forget which. I forget where, though. It's floating around in some part of town. Uh, hello? Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Okay. I will try. Okay, let's do that, I suppose. It only comes out at night, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, let's go do that side quest, that little puzzle, that puzzle room, right over here, while I'm here. Whoop. Because I need to ex I need the the shoosty thing. I think the bomber's notebook. And to get the shoosty thing, I need magic, which is from the Great Fairy. Okay. This is uh no, this is a time sink. I don't need to do a time sink yet. I will come back for the time sink. Right? I don't think I need to do a time sink yet. I think I can go out... Mm. Whatever, I'm gonna explore town for a bit, briefly. <sighs> and 
anyway, yeah, I'm gonna explore town briefly. Jump! Ah, the little jump. <laughs> I'm one of the Gorman troop. I have my appointment to meet with Madam today. Oh, really? That should be fine if you just go in. I love the dramatic music. Huh? Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and the Carnival Committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. The ferry is by the laundry pool during the day. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Mm, well, uh, you cowards, do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the real danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Hmm. Well... Huh? Are you serious, Muto? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. This time every year we're overrun with tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Mm -hmm. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vissian. The councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dutour? Above the stock on it at night. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. It moves. Okay, that's what that's what I was thinking of. It moves. <laughs> Let's not bring my wife into this. You have to... I forget which mask it is that allows you to resolve that situation. I forget if it's the one that in, that like reminds him of his wife or something. Oh dear, are you a student of Deku Elementary? Where was your teacher? You shouldn't be here. Field trips, go next door. Tell your teacher that. Are oh, the fins damp lately? Oh, that's the greeting used among us, Zora. Where's your mama's, honey? Huh? You came here by yourself. Well, aren't you a big boy? Once you get older, Sammy, come see the Indiegogo. Perform live at Zora Hall. Madam Aruba, I'm Gorman. It's been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning, the opening performance I've asked you to do. Oh, yes. They've cancelled just now. What's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I'm to work at this year's show, or that was the plan. I'm Toto, manager of the Zora Band of the Indiegogos. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in the Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva of the Indigo Goat, has lost her voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you at any rate. I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival time. See? Then this means the Gorman Troop's job is... <laughs> It's off. The clutch. That's all, Gorman. That is always next year. I'm busy with other battles. Unfortunate. Let's, uh, we'll resolve that problem eventually. Let's go out of here. Okay, uh, laundry pool. 
Wonderful. Which is... you're a bummer. Can I get to that chest as a scrub, or do I need to be a, 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 a human? Nope. I gotta be human to get to the chest with the silver ruby. Darn. Hey, Twin Luger. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Yes, Jor's Mask. Absolutely wonderful and fantastic game. I, I'm thrilled to be playing it. I just finished Ocarina of Time last week, so right into it. Here we go. Hello, frog. Um, it's in the box? No. Oh, there it is. Please hear my plea. The skull gate has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the forever. All right, let's go. He says, the Deku obstacle course would, be, would net you a heart piece, as well as helping refine your flying skills. Uh, but getting to the people around town is a good idea, even if you can't do much as a scrub. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like I said, I, um... I'm, uh... Oh, yeah, you need the sword to unlock this, don't I? Okay. Um... Yeah, like I said, I'm always, like, absurdly paranoid in the first three days. The first cycle through, if you will. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to plan on doing is I'm going to do as much as I can as quickly as I can, and then in my downtime, like while I wait for the next thing to happen, that's when I'm just going to, you know, dick around, do side quests, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, Luger, this is my first. This is the first. The first three days, uh, I just started the game. Uh, now, to be fair, I've played this game before, like I don't know, half a dozen times at least, uh, but. But yeah, I just started just started playing the game tonight for this stream at least for this playthrough. So, welcome, good time to join in. Um, like you said, Majora's Mask is my comfort game, despite the bleak atmosphere it has in some areas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's some. It does a spectacular job of balancing hope and joy mixed in with the bleakness because it's. Yes, there's so much bleakness in the world, but so much of it is the kind of thing in the parts of the world that you can you can genuinely improve, that you can fix things. Like this, like right, like the Great Fairy. The Great Fairy was broken apart by the Skull Kid. We just got her back together. Right? Even that little thing is is so much in keeping with the theme of the game, which is healing, which is bringing the broken world back together. It's that I think that is what's so so nice. Comforting, so delightful about the game. Thank you for returning my broken, shattered body to normal. Oh yeah, dance the yeah, dance the time away with Scarecrow. Yeah, that's that's the easy way of doing it. I'm the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. <laughs> oh yeah, granted the sock button. That that kills time. Yeah, I I typically will do scarecrow though. I don't know why I prefer scarecrow, but at least until I get the arena and can just skip time on my own. Alright, magic meter, bubble blasts, cool, big bubble, shoot it, magic power decrease, shoot. Alright, get some pots when you need to restore. Okay. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If you ever return to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Okay. Thanks, giant lady. Scarecrow is honestly a vibe, uh, but I feel an odd sense of comfort falling asleep to grand new stories. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll grant you that. Really? I cannot aim this stupid thing. 
Yeah, there we go. I forget it, like, zigzags all over the, all over the place. Are you the one who just popped out up there? You're not bad for a Deku Squab. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But I don't think you're getting it that easy. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, line up, guys. So you can fight all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Yeah. Shoot, where are they? Alright. If I'm about to miss one... ...days in particular, go ahead and tell me. Gotcha! Only four left! I don't need rupees, why am I doing this? Hey you, there you are. <laughs> Alright, only three left. That's all in this section, the north block down there. Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brats little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 13 midpoint... The, just, 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 shut up. I know there's at least one or two in East Lockdown. In, other than him. Oh yeah, the one with the freaking chicken, that's right. There's a guy with a chicken up here. Gotcha. Only two left. Okay. Oh, you're up there. How do I get to you? Uh, I need to use the flower. That's right. Right here. And one is in South Block Town? Or is there one in West? Uh-oh. It's night time. Better catch you. There you go. I made him trip. There's the one left. Wait, can you shove them in the bank first cycle? I thought you had to be a human first. Not the first day, okay. I thought you had to be a human first before you could use the bank. I could be wrong, though. I'm probably wrong. Alright, let me see. Where is the bastard? No, no, go away. Go away, thing. Is it West? I have not been to the West West Lockdown yet. It's appropriate to come here at night. Oh, he's up there. Okay, yeah. I always thought West Lockdown was a little bit was a little bit shady, a little bit a little bit spooky, even during the day. And no, it's not just because of the the dancing girls to the weird music. Excuse me. Oh no way! If only they caught me. You're pretty good for a Deku Scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no Scrubs! I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't a human join our gang, and boy did it whoever we ever regret it. Sorry. You can't use the next Scrub, okay. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can only tell you once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? I'm gonna write it down, because it changes game to game. One, two, four, three, five. Okay. The code is one, two, four, three, five. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. Cool. Let's go to East Clock Town. Uh, wait, I can get. Yeah, the curiosity shop. Like that yeah, that lends it some some spookiness. Yeah, that's a good point. But if you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. One. Two. Uh four. Three. Five. Um that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go. 
There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. Right. Leave it to Termina for there to be a group of very small children just kind of hanging out in a dangerous sewer. Uh, one in which there is a Skulltala. That didn't work. Really? Oh. That didn't work. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, great. Now that I know that. Right. wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time! You don't even have three days Yeah, I know that shot. So, the, the, um, the code is not always random. It is random per save file. So, when you start a save file, it is, is when it re, it re-randomly generates a code. So, technically, uh, if you want to speedrun it, um, a lot of speedrunners, what you'll do is they will they will play the same save file first, but then start the day over. Uh, they'll start the day over for the official speedrun, uh, so they don't have to do the, the hide and seek quest, and they can just run on through. Well, well. A strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bomber's gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that little man at Travelmaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moons, dear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him, probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's already freaking beginning. Um, was there something else I need to look at? Other than the moon. That guy, but that's not actually anything. No? Okay. The remake did away with the rainbow stars? This wasn't the... Really? I didn't realize. I never thought of that. I mean, I guess it was one of those, like, graphical updates or whatever. I think most of the graphical updates in the remake are better. Um, they are serious improvements in a lot of ways, uh, but there are some things that are pretty missing. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon steer has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Okay. Okay, so I need a moon steer. Aesthetically, the remake is superior gameplay for the original. That's probably right. That's probably... That's mostly right. Um, the exception to that, I think, the only real serious gameplay improvement is um, mapping the ocarina to a separate button. Uh, touchscreen button. Um, instead of having it to be a C item. Uh, having the... Um, having the ocarina... Oh, oh my gosh. Me, it's me. Having the ocarina as a C item uh, is s extremely limiting. Um, I don't. I kind of don't like it. I don't like that. All right, let's get out of here. Woo! <laughs> 
Uh, in fact, I was I was consistently bothered by that in uh, in Ocarina, in Ocarina of Time as well. All right, so we know where the skull kid is. Go ask around the clock tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Wow, look at the time. Shut up. Oh no, look at the time. <laughs> Jesus, Tattle. Question. Question for the chat. Do you say Toddle or Tattle? I always said Toddle for some reason. But thinking about it, I think Tattle makes more sense. I don't know. Tattle as in Tattletail. Yeah, that makes sense. So wait, what do you mean, Twin Luger? Uh, favorite gameplay change was being able to choose up to when the Song of Double Time would speed you up. Oh, oh yeah, rather than just jumping ahead for, like, one day, it jumps you ahead. Um, wait, wait! Hang on! It jumps you ahead the full, uh, uh, however long you want. Yeah, 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 I, I, I actually almost forgot about that. I mean, to be fair, the original game doesn't even tell you about the inverted Song of Time or the Song of Double Time. It doesn't even tell you those exist. You just had to figure that, figure that out on your own in the original game. So, it was it was more like an exploit in the original game than it was like a core mechanic. This is my private property. No, don't try using it when I'm not around. I've already sold out of my wares. The carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than anything any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Okay. Luger says, I think the remake doesn't tell you either. Uh, I'll check, but my 3DS is dead. There you go. How's that? Ah, that stone! You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included, yes. Ooh, got the land title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or a strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Awesome. See you later. Now right, let's do it. There's, there's some stuff to get before the dog comes over to eat us. Um, I mean, first of all, we can just get the car piece. Gun piece of heart. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Well, the scarecrow tells you about the variants. Maybe. That is that is that does sound plausible. I'm not actually sure though. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh hey, here we go. Can I get over there? No. All right. Stupid dog. Alright, um, let's do the, the Deku maze minigame. The door to the clock tower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I know that. You told me that. Come on, Tower. Wow. The shrinky dink. Love it. Um, why do I need to go to the soft pattern? I mean, I know I can jump ahead in time with uh, Granny, but is there something beyond that? I was going to do this first. The 
sneaking through upstairs. What for? How about it? We're only open until the carnival, which is the day after tomorrow. So, will the young one play? Ten rupees. Yeah. All right, then. Use this Taku flower and have fun. The time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record. You get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below once, it's over. The best time for today's game is 1.15. Okay. Learn the patterns. Learn the pattern. Oh, shoot. This is, this is not good. I goofed it. I goofed it, man. Wow. Okay. If you have the ruby. Oh, jeez. The issue is predicting where they're going to go. It, it's anticipating, and I'm, I'm rotten at that. You want this? I'm going to try one more. Uh, and if I goof it up really bad again, I'm just going to... Okay. Right, I'm going to get the, the, the blue rupee first, I think. Hopefully. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, balls. Okay. No, I'm really bad at this, and I don't want to run through this so many times. No, I'm done for now. Let's, let's... The, the toilet paper guy, um... Is he only there at night? Is he only there at night? Or what? I don't remember. Um... Yeah, man, I'm really bad at the Q scrub. <laughs> uh, I have said already that I am not trying to 100% this game in terms of, like, heart pieces and everything, but I am trying to get all of the masks. I... oh, not this. I am going to try and get all of the masks. I'm sorry. Our rooms are filled. Okay. Oh, he is only here at night. Okay. So, he's only there at night, which means I have to sneak in through the, the top door. Which is fine. I can't help uh, Anju tonight. It says employees only. Okay. Sneaking into other people's rooms? You're the worst. Mormon troop. Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished our new dance for the carnival, town's carnival. Do 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 da. Even though the song's finished, I know I taught it to you in a different world. Judo's very good at it. Maybe he should add some spin. Man, we'll be leaving right away. I will need to get flying down. You're right, and I yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 gilded sword is is like really high on my list of priorities. I absolutely love it. I actually talked about this um, at some point. Uh, I talked about this in uh, in my last uh, my last series, my last live streams, uh, when we were playing Ocarina of Time, uh, talking about the different swords and whatnot. That uh, I ever since I played this game when I was like ten, 
Um, I have absolutely adored uh, Leaf Blade profile swords uh, to the point where I have a couple of them. I just absolutely love it. Uh, and that aesthetic just really... That that aesthetic preference comes basically straight from this game. I'm going to try this a couple more times because I need to kill some time until my attack. Um... Oh, come on. Wow, I'm unbelievably bad at this. Alright, last try because I only have 10 percent left. Ugh. Yeah, I love the Leaf Blade profile on swords. It's just gorgeous. It's not the run. It's not the run. Alright, I have ten more rupees now, so I, I collected a few. Let's let's do this. Let's try one more. I feel like the other one is easier, but whatever. Uh, I am gonna shoot for the 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 blue one first, so I have a little bit. I have a little bit of uh, extra rupees, even if I goof it. Nope, goofed it. <laughs> Look, you're, you're just wrong. I'm just bad at this. This is not the one. <laughs> oh, man. Now nah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, man. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. We'll take some practice. I might just run this a bunch off stream or something. Waste thousands of rupees. I mean... To be fair, uh, after tonight, like, when I get back to human form, I will immediately have infinite rupees, just because of the, the stupid, um, silver rupee collection thingy in, uh, East Lockdown. Um, that silver rupee in the chest in East Lockdown, it really just... That makes everything much, much simpler, um, once I can go to the bank with that. But I do need to be human first in order to do it. So. Night of the second day. Oh, yeah, I can't come in this way. Hey, Andrew. Oh, what a cute guest. Do you have a reservation? Where's your mother? I'm sorry, we're totally booked with reservations. Please. Tell that to your mother. Oh, I get kicked out at eight, don't I? Uh-oh, what's going on? Well, I'll just wait a minute and a half, shall I? Until I get kicked out. Uh, and then I think I can just come back. I can come in through the upper floor or whatever. Ow. Oh yeah, the other gameplay... In I, I forgot this. And I, <laughs> I'm gonna remember it soon. Uh, the other major gameplay improvement um, with the remake was the Bomber's Notebook. Wow, uh, the Bomber's Notebook, if I remember correctly, is just so much better uh, in the remake. No? Okay, is it what, after midnight or something? What's the deal? German? Ah, bother, bother. I'm busy. Hey, Andrew. I'm sorry. We're totally booked. Yeah, okay. 8.30. We'll be locking the door. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, okay. Well, let me just go in. Let me just sneak into your inn just to be a jerk. Whoop. 
All right, Deku breaking and entering. Oh, there's a hidden silver rupee in the bomber's hideout? Where is that? I genuinely don't remember that one. I remember it exists, but I have no idea. Oh, it has to be after midnight. Are you serious? Oh. I remember there was another one somewhere, but I don't remember where it was. Interesting. Is that one accessible as a, as a Deku Scrub? Hmm. I may have to do that. After I, of course, of course. After I give this poor man some paper. <laughs> paper! P -p Please! It's the most... God, this is the... This somehow manages to be so iconic to The Legend of Zelda. Like, somehow. Even though it's utterly ridiculous. Um, and then, of course, uh, it gets... There's a callback to it in... Is it Skyward Sword, I think? Oh, I need to be human. I don't know. Is it because swimming or something? Right, well, let me just sit in the bathroom until midnight. <laughs> oh, gosh. Whoa! Oh. Paper, please! Here you go. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you saved me! It fell down here. I'll give it to you. You fell down here. Uh, you seem to have fallen down here, sir. Um. All right, let's uh. Yeah, let's just keep read the story. Oh, Tortoise will late. Tomorrow's another early day, so good night. I'll read your story tomorrow. Okay, never mind. Does the hand's voice sound vaguely like Mikau? Maybe. I mean, I can see the similarity, I guess, yeah? I mean, it could perfectly well be the same voice actor, because, I mean, a lot of the voice actors for, for Zelda games are just, like, making a noise, so they don't need to be, you know, like, that distinctive. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go check out the curiosity shop with my seven rupees. See what I can buy. At least see what's there. I guess I, I mean, haven't been there, so I might as well. Is this it? Boy, shouldn't you be with your parents? Go on, get. Alright, fine. I mean, you've got a dark nut back there. Never mind. I can't even look at their goods until I'm a grown up. Welcome. Uh, hey, you're just a Deku scrub kid. Oh, I can't buy anything now either. What is this? Yo, hey baby, I'm a stylin' scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of a lot on eye if you dance with me. Just so you know you have the red hair of a devil. You mean the the shopkeeper, I assume? <laughs> if you like, baby, we could forget the time and dance till dawn. Yeah, let's dance till dawn. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Oh yeah! In that case, forget the time, let's dance. No, me? My hair is blonde, man. Look, there's not much of it there, to be fair, but it's definitely blonde. I have bits of red in my beard, to be fair, from my dad's side. Oh yeah! How was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy! If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till night! You know what? Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh yeah! In that case, forget the time, let's dance! 
I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep dancing. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I fell out of it. Oh well. I fell out of the groove, man. <laughs> Twelve hours remain! Oh yeah, how was it? Went by in an instant, right? I'm full of energy. But outside, it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes! I'm getting out of here. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Yeah. Oh yeah! No. Oh yeah, so it does... Okay, the Scarecrow does tell you. Okay. Appreciate the sub. I... Listen. Listen. I appreciate a good troll. Honestly, if you if you search my channel, I have a video on the philosophy of trolling. Oh. Hey man, check it out. Uh, I'll put it in the description after the, after the stream's over. If you want to check it out later. Um, briefly... Uh, I basically just argued that Socrates was a troll, and he basically more or less invented the art of trolling, as we understand it today. Uh, just, of course, now now we do it on the internet, that's all. And usually we don't get killed for it. Usually. It seems that if you play that mysterious song backward, you can slow the passage of time, and if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? You learn a new song. Come try it on me. Till then, I'll see you later, baby. Okay. Bye. That was... I'm gonna go ahead and deposit my monies. My eight rupees. I have so many rupees. Hey there, little guy. Why don't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they deposit any. They don't deposit any. Nothing, nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. Uh, yeah. I'll deposit all eight of mine. So. Eight. That's it? I didn't know that at all, Big Spender, but if you say so. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I don't want to forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks. And it's not gonna hurt. There. Now I'll know you when I see you. Alright, little guy. Now I've got a total of eight rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Oh yeah, now Lost with Lost Woods theme. Nice. Very nice. Okay. The heck is the there's a chest on top there? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh man, are you serious? How do I get up there? Oh, do I have to have the hook shot? I gotta have the hook shot, don't I? Or long shot or whatever. 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 It's fine. Alright, well, <clears throat> let's wait till midnight, shall we? Man. Yeah, yeah, I I'm assuming that's a hook shot thing. I forget, is it the hook shot or the long shot in this game? I know they only, I only, I only know, know, I know you only get one of the two, and it's the, it has the length of the long shot. But I forget if they call it the hook shot or the long shot. Like I said, it has been like eight years or so, probably, since I played this game. It's been a while. It's been too long, really way too long. It's nice to come back to. It's one of those games where it really is really nice to come back to. Even more so than Ocarina. Oh, it's called the hookshot in this one? Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, this this game is nice and pleasant to return to after a while. And 
by the Socrates. Yeah, so so the idea, right, is that so trolling so I usually take for trolling, I take the definition put forward by the foremost troll of our age, Michael Malice. Who reminds me a great deal of the happy masses. That's neither here nor there. Um his definition of trolling is manipulating the other person, or an other person, or other people, into being an unwitting or unwilling performer in your act. Usually this means, like, trolling somebody, in other words, like, provoking someone into acting in a certain way that you can predict and rely on, so that then you can use and exploit that reaction for either making a point, or for comedy, or for both. Man, they really improved the sound design with this one over Ocarina. Like, like a lot. It's it's very impressive. Okay, let's go. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. No, let's go. Let's go. The carnival music. Mm, yeah, carnival. Um, so with that in mind, right? So with, with that definition of trolling, if that is what we mean. Um. Then yeah, absolutely, Socrates did it. Socrates absolutely did it with the Athenian assembly, uh, where he basically convinced them to execute him uh, unjustly to prove, to basically to prove a point. And he was okay with dying because he was like 80 something and he was really old, and, and he was proving a point. And man, does Socrates love proving a point? Sis, ah, tail, we've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you get that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come down, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Thanks, I hate it. Wow, that was a good shot. Thanks, Tattle. Gimme. You got back the Ocarina of Time. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. And then she took it back. But then I guess she gave it back again? So we could leave with it? Or whatever. Continuity. Aww. He says, when it comes to trolling, I always think of Terry McGinnis uh, versus the Joker from Batman Beyond, the Joker, Joker. How so? It's been a very long time since I watched any Batman Beyond. I never got, I didn't get nearly in, as into Batman Beyond as I did the animated series or, or Justice League. So, I don't know how much of it I exactly remember. Is that C? Oh, yeah, 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 it's a C anime. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. Oh, sure, she does give it back. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, continuity's fine. Continuity is all intact. We're good. Uh, Luger says uh, Terry ha Terry taunts the Joker and gets under his skin to the point where the Joker gets gets sloppy. Something the original Batman can never do. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's absolutely right. That's that's absolutely trolling. Uh, perfectly done. Perfectly done. I'm praying. I'm praying that your journey be a safe one. 
If something should happen to you, remember the song. This reminds me of us. But that one reminds you of us, not Zelda's lullaby, you know, the one that's playing. Whatever. 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 Mechanics gotta work, so there you go. You remembered the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, post me the clip. It's been a while. I, I, I know the scene you're talking about, but I can't, like, I can't picture it. I remember it happening, but I have very vague memories of it because it was a long time ago. Yeah, throw it in there in, like, I don't know, media or something. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Well, better do it now. We need help. All right. See you next. See you later, Twin Luger. Thanks for stopping in. I'll see you next time. Hope you stick around. Uh, hope you stick around for next time. I think we're probably going to be doing Tuesday next week, probably. But we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, hope to see you then. Uh, so yeah. Snap out of it. What are you doing in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old Alcarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody, anybody, got us some time. Please help us. We need more time. You're right. We do. Let's make more time. Huh? When did you get that instrument? I don't know, but it's cool. Oh yeah, the Discord, the link is right in the description. You should be able to join it right there. So, hopefully I'll see you in there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zelda only took the ocarina to turn Link to his childhood. Yeah, I mean, he, she did, and then apparently she gave it back to him. Like, we just saw in the cutscene, right? She gave it back to him uh, for his journey uh, as a sort of... Remember me, Link, remember me. Save. I, I kind of... God. There are elements of, like, 90s games that I really, really miss, uh, and it's the, like, diegetic game mechanics. Like, the fact that saving is an in-game mechanic and not just, like, ignored by the game world. That's actually really cool. I like games that do that. And most... Most modern games don't do that anymore. So, it was very cool when they did. Yeah, the Discord is pretty active. I'll say that. I'll say that for sure. We, we, we have fun. We have fun in there. There's some trolling that happens, so you'll enjoy. It's also a place for genuine and serious philosophical discussion here and there. I'll say that too. What just happened? Everything is... Oh. The music's back to normal. It started over. What are you, anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument? Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mass salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? No, I, I didn't. You, whatever. I did not forget. Oh, that's right, time doesn't pass in here. I forgot about that. That's oh man, that's so freaking cool. I, I, can I talk to you? Thank you. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh oh oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! <laughs> and listen to me. Oh my God! Your head is not not supposed to face that way. What are you? Ooh. Please, play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well.
That is not a piano. <laughs> that is not a piano, man. Look at this thing. This is an organ. I kind of hate that it makes piano noises. I kind of really hate that. I love the amicable wave goodbye. <laughs> oh. A mask. That's what the game is about, guys. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. You want to play? Yeah, yeah, right? Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. God, this is such a good, like, magical world-building mechanic. So good. Like, okay, so basically the Song of Healing is a curse breaker. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a magical melody that breaks curses, but it seals those curses away in a totem, in a totem object, in this case, a mask. And that mask allows you to use the magic of the curse without being afflicted by the curse, which is just so cool, and I want to put it in d and I, yeah, you know what, I... Hmm. Hey, Erica, write this down. Write this down. I really, really like this as a mechanic for breaking curses in D&D. &D. You have to have a special item with a special magical spell or something. You can use the remove curse spell, I guess, but you also have to do some other component with it. And then the curse gets transferred into an object that is sort of dark magic-y kind of thing. Man, there's so much cool about this. There's so much cool about this. Not only is it a great game mechanic, it, like I said, it's also just such a really cool way of dealing with curses in a magical world. It's, it's really cool. I love it. I love this so much. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Special item or spell, and the curse is transferred into an object. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think this so much. Think about doing this with lycanthropy. Suppose your character in D&D uh, contracts lycanthropy. You go on this this big old quest to get it cured and it turns into a mask you can wear to transform into a werewolf it, maybe it's an item maybe it takes attunement whatever man that's that's potentially very cool oh good timing <laughs> good timing to have jumped in here it has no eye holes which I mean I guess it doesn't need them. It transforms your face, but whatever. Got the Deku mask. Keep as a memento. A start. Set it to... Oh, God, that's right. I forgot you have to set masks to C, too. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> now, I've fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. Oh, this is awkward. Um... Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Didn't you? Ooh! What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. I know that. I know that mask that was stolen from me. It's called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from the legend. It is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is, dis is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. I think that there's a lot of speculation, and I'm not actually sure. I don't remember if this is confirmed in Hyrule Story. I'm actually going to probably have to look it up wherever I put the book. I think it's in the other room. Um, I think 
that the evil spirit, the, the, the tribe uh, that, that used Majora's Mask, was the Twilight. I think it was supposed to be the Twilight. Or their er early version of the Twilight, or something like that. According to legend... The troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great... The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophes, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it... I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that welcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I'm begging you, that you must get that mask back quickly, or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it! <laughs> really, you'll do it for me. I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, go collect a few uh, few rupees and buy some bombs. Uh, the silver rupee and bombs hideout. Okay. That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we're gonna do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. Tattle Tail. Tattle and Tail. It took me 24 years to realize that. Okay. Okay, listen. I'm a smart man. Sometimes. But other times. Other times. I just... <sighs> Alright. Anyway, moving on. Good pun. Good pun. Great pun. Alright, moving on. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who were there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead. We'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Yeah, I just got that. I... I, I should have gotten that. Like... Like I said, I should have gotten that 24 years ago. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do this yet, or do I need, like, the bunny hood? I can do it. Okay. Right. Here's some rupees. Oh, I know Twin Luger made the joke. I didn't realize I I didn't I never made the connection to Tail, to her brother, being the other half of the word. <laughs> oh my god. Silver rupee, hundred rupees. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, let's go. I think there might be a glitch there that if you accidentally jump into the exit, like fully into the exit, that you um that you just sort of fall through the floor. But I could be wrong, I'm not sure. Okay, um, curiosity shops only open at night. Oh, wait, hold on. Why not? I forgot to slow time down. That was important. Link, your knee. Are you okay?
Wait. Hi. Oh, I need the bomb shop. That's right. Is that a... Is that an empty bottle? Can I have that? Can I give you all of my rupees for that? Every single one. I will give you every rupee there is. Navigation. I don't know if I ever caught that either. Welcome. Oh, I need the bomb bag. Okay. 50 rupees. I will buy it. It comes with 20 bombs. Thank you very much. Again. Alright, cool. Bombs. Alright, I'm gonna deposit my 49 and get the other silver ruby. How about that? How's about that? What's this? You need something? Deposit. Excuse me, let me take a look at you. Ah oh, yes, Link. If I remember, you're the little guy who deposited eight rupees. Well, you gonna make a deposit? Alright, so. All of them. Yes. Seriously, that's a lot. A lot, a lot. Alright, little guy. You've got a total of 57 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Okay, I'm gonna go get another, uh... Another, uh, silver. I think I can also do the Swordmaster training, right? And this. Also this. Wait, do I get the- do I learn the song from it, or do I have to do something else to learn the song? You can save your progress and quit here. Um, yeah. No, not at the moment. Oh, jeez. That's right. Streaming this game is... Streaming this game is going to be challenging with the save system, isn't it? Especially because I have a relatively hard cutoff time of midnight. Oh, I need to do the hide-and-seek again to get the notebook, don't I? I'll do it later. I'm gonna pass through here, you have to say the secret code. One, two, four, three, five. Um, that's right. You know the code and you must be a member, right? Okay, here you go. A lot of cool stuff. Bomb a society of justice, secret society of justice forever. Alright, uh, what do I blow up? Go in song later, I thought so. Alright, what do I blow up? I want to blow some more. Boom. Go boom. Where's the boom? With the boom. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll just put that on there. Whatever. Swim, 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 swim. Really? Bastard. Worst bastard. Walker. Okay, screw this. Screw this. No. The hell with you. Go away. I don't... I just... I need the hearts, okay? I need these. I need these. Okay, I need those. Alright, great. Now what? You say go to the left. Which left? Like, over here? Is there a map of this? No, there's not. Okay. Like left, right when I come inside, you mean? Or... Like over here. Oh, I see. By the Skultella. Oh, right. The cracked wall. Okay. I still need to do the, um, 
the bomber quest. Alright, I'm gonna go do the bomber quest to get the notebook. How about that? Hey, guy, you haven't passed my test. Said you know my secret code. Nobody but bombers know that code, so uh, why do you know it? Listen, guy. Pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. I didn't know you could cheat like this. Cool. What's your name, guy? Link, huh? Alright. That Skull Kid broke our rules. I was doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Link a new member of the Bombers instead. This is the Bombers Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. I will. <laughs> Swear to live by this code forevermore. Uh, helps keep track of people's schedules. Press start to access the West Meta screen. Highlight the notebook. Press A to read it. One, find troubled people and add the names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Promise to help them. Mark promise promises with promise stickers. Never to never be late with fulfilling your promises. Whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker will be added to your book. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. Paddle, who told that Skull Kid he's out of here? He's been acting like a real jerk lately. The Bomber Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. You were taught the secret code. It was added to your notebook. The Bomber Kid ran away! Alright, well I guess I don't need to do that quest. Alright, uh, um, let's check it out. I'm going to learn people's schedule. My god, this is insane. I have a happiness sticker. Yay. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, um, let's go to the... Let's just, you know, fill our notebook with people. How about that? Let's just fill our notebook. Oh, wait, I didn't need that rupee. In fact, uh, before I do anything else, I am going to go deposit these 99 rupees, because I don't need them right now. That's fine. No, no, no! Okay. I do not want to get too close to the Deku flower, because I don't need to go through the stupid cutscene. What's this? You need something? Blah, 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 deposit. Hey, all of them! Seriously, that's a lot. A lot, a lot! Alright, little guy, you have 156 rupees from you. Come back to deposit after more you have saved. Give me some more. Um, the mailman's house. Uh, okay. 9am to 3pm. 9am. Okay. Well, it's a few seconds away from 9am, so... Oh, wait, wait! No, no, no. No, I want to talk to you. I want to do your training thing. Yeah. I'm currently on the job. If I talk, I have to talk, it'll disrupt my schedule. The postman, whose priority is delivery, was added to your note. Am I going? Currently I'm delivering mail. Please wait a while. All right, never mind. That's fine. Uh, what is this? Lottery shop. Oh... Yeah, you can totally cheese the lottery shop. I forget how, though. Whatever. Another time. Alright, uh, what was I about to go do? Um, find as many people as possible and put them in my notebook. That's what I was trying to do. Can I find cafe to put in my notebook? Honestly, I'm pretty sure that the remainder of my stream tonight is just gonna be this run through of me just like talking to everybody. Oh, wait, I wanted to get the fairy, but whatever. Hey there, kid! Okay. 
whatever. I'll come back to it. It's much easier as a scrub. I know. You can just hop along the water. It's locked. Yeah, I know. Here, my please. Scattered pieces. I know I need to do that, so. <laughs> oh no! Face. Face looks terrible and I love it. Uh oh, so many fond memories of freaking out my elementary school teachers by telling them I was a member of the Bombers Gang. Oh man. No, that's, uh, yeah, that's. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, legit. I, I, I would. I don't blame them for being freaked out at that. Not really. Not really. Let's go do the slide. By let's go do the slide, I mean let's go get that heart piece. Um, can I do it or do I need the bunny hood? Can. No, I don't. I definitely don't need the bunny hood. I just need to not goof it. I think I can get the bomb mask, or whatever, at midnight here, by chasing down the, the thief, right? Is it the bomb mask, or what? I forget what. And anyway, there's something I can get by chasing down the thief in North Blocktown at midnight. Um, I think it's a mask, but I remember what. <laughs> Hello again! Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. She remembers us. That's very magical. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. Oh, maybe she doesn't remember us. I was wrong. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of gratitude. <laughs> Wait, you told me to come back once I had recovered my normal form. What's the deal? <sighs> I mean, thanks. Thanks and all, that's nice, but... Oh, kind young one. Scattered through the, the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good, so that the stray fairies will not fear you. Cool! Spooky! Great fairy mask. I didn't even have to play the song for it. You'll know you're close to a fairy who's lost in a temple if the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. Nice. I don't need it right now. But nice regardless. Um, yeah, if I'm if I'm figuring this more or less correctly, we will probably do the Woodfall, not Woodfall Temple, we'll probably do the Woodfall Swamp next week, before we get to the temple. Because the temple is its own thing, and it actually takes a good amount of time just by itself. Okay, I think I need the arrows for the Octorok thing, right? Honey and Darlings. Oh, yeah. I only have five rupees. That's not enough to play. <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder. It's a customer, darling. <laughs> oh, would you like to play? Today's Bomb Chew Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? Oh, play. No, I don't have ten rupees. Mm. Honey, he says he isn't playing. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe later. Also a crypt member of the South Park chapter. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. I think we were all kind of edgy as kids, or at least we wanted desperately to be. <laughs> oh, man. Town Shooting Gallery. Can I, like, borrow something to shoot with? Or... If you think you could do it, why don't you give it a try, sonny? 20 rupees. I don't have 20 rupees. Well, well then. Be that way. I don't have a bow. I need the bow to do this, don't I? Okay. Okay. Uh, which I get from... Woodfall. Woodfall Temple, right? So in a while. In a while. We'll do that. We'll get there eventually. Oh, come in. Oh, is the kid collecting masks? How about it? Wanna play? 20 rupees. Nope. Mm, too bad. Come again. Oh, gosh. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I know. I remember this minigame. It's it's such bullshit, but it's but it's actually fair. It's actually a fair mini game, which is uh, abnormal for these. I have nothing but respect for Christopher Reeves as a Superman fan, though. Of course, oh, of course. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, are you staying the night? Uh, yes. You are staying the night. I'm terribly sorry, there are no vacancies today. We've been booked solid with reservations. It's always this way before the carnival, I'm sorry. I recommend making a reservation next time you wish to stay here. Please, get this talk pot in a visit in the future. And you're the innkeeper, it was added to your network. Wait, I thought I could just tell her my name is Link and I would get the key. I totally thought that was how that worked. Because Link is the, the Goron, right? Or am, I mis or am I mixing this up? Because I'd have to do something else first. Oh, Tartuff, did you finish helping Father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Sure, I'll listen to the Carnival of Time. Why not? The Carnival of Time, is it? The Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahem. The Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The Carnival of Time is when the peoples of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. Oh, a discount for the game in Zora. Oh, yeah, that's right, because she's a fan, isn't she? Yeah, that's right. And I fell asleep. The all night mask keeps you awake. I, I need to get that. I forget where it comes from. I'll find it eventually. Are you awake? Yes, that story was a little boring for Tortoise, wasn't it? Don't give up. Try again sometime. Andrew's grandmother was added to the book. I love that she has, like, these giant, vicious-looking spikes on her wheelchair. The glorious. Right, let's see what else. Oh, that won't work. No, that's too basic. The Rosa Sisters, twin dancers, were added to your notebook. My home. Alright, who else? Maybe else in here need to go in the notebook. Don't speak to her right now. Guru Guru, the traveling musician, was added to your notebook. It is very good at it. Maybe she some spins. You might have to be a Goron to do it. That's possible. It might be a time frame thing as well. It might be a specific time frame. Let me actually check and see if it's in the, in the notebook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it, it has to be during that little time spot right there, which is, I think, 3 p.m. It's either 2 or 3 p.m., I forget. It's as soon as she comes back, then you can get it, and the Goron will be left out in the rain, and he'll be all sad. Which is honestly kind of funny. Uh, but it's mean, so let's not laugh about it. That would be terrible. Um, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get time going faster. So till she comes back, and then I'll talk to her, get the room key, then slow time back down, and then do some other stuff. Yes.
Because I think it's 2 p.m. It's either 2 or 3. I forget what. Not that I... Not that it's, like, useful at all right now. But whatever. Uh, I actually don't need the room key, except to get into that room upstairs, which I don't actually think it's... Forget what's in there. Hi. Welcome. Are you staying the night? Oh my, I wonder, did I have a chance to ask you the same thing earlier? My mother's always telling me to remember our customers' faces, but I tend to forget them. Oh, you can't ask her! Oh, that's right! You can't talk to her until that time. That's right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, alright, that's right. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright. Now I now I remember. Okay. Next next cycle, I guess, or whatever. Neat. Again, very... It's very, very particular. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so many of the things that you need to do in terms of time sequence are just, like, so precise. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. Your mind your right is the drawing room. It's also Madame Aroma's office. I should add more vocal fry to that voice. Whatever. Uh -huh. Ah! Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter with that. Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I know. I've already heard all this. Uh -huh. And I've already even done the voices. I don't, uh. Let's not bring my wife into this. Mayor Detour was added to your notebook. Is there a time frame for him? Oh, any time during the day, I I can... Basically, I need to bring peace to this stupid meeting. I forget how to do it. There's a specific mask I need. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, now, for him, at 3 p.m., once he gets back to his house, I can go and visit. Them, I talk, need to talk to at night. Uh, but I need the dancing... Whatever, mask. Guru Guru, I have no idea what I need to do for him. It's something at night in the laundry pool, but I forget what. Is it playing a song or something? Or... I don't know. Whatever, either way, it's at night in the laundry pool. The Guru Guru. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say, it will have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I do. The person I want you to locate is my son, Kay. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared a bit a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so worried. I can't get food down my throat and I've lost five pounds. Just talk to Guru Girl? Okay, sure, I'll do that. You haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? Of course. <laughs> oh my, of course. You're an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. Ah, cafe's mask. Uh, wear it to ask, to inquire about the missing cafe. Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife, was added to your notebook. You took the work of a pro. This was added to your notebook. Uh, Finn's damp lately. That's the greeting used among us orals. Blah, 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 blah. I know. Not a business cards. Shows cancelled. It's a shame. All right. Toad of the band manager. Was added here. Cool, cool, cool. What's this? I forgot. There's an extra room here. Let's investigate. Huh. There's uh, absolutely nothing of use. Oh, wait, no. Cafe's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early. I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Andrew has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at Milk Bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Interesting. So, I need to go into the Milk Bar, and I need to talk to Andrew. Let's, um... Do that. Okay. Right. Let's go talk to Anju about her betrothed. Her poor, unfortunate child husband.
I don't know where he is. Even if I knew, uh, it would be a secret. You do know where he is, don't you? <gasps> You're also looking for Cafe. At a request, Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30. Please come to the kitchen. We'll talk then. I promise to meet her at night. Is that a okay. 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 Not sure how I'm supposed to get in without a key. Oh wait, never mind. I can fly. Um, alright, let's see. What else can I do? Alright, um... Wonderful. With the mask. I know this isn't right. Hey, Neon Flare. How are you? Good evening. Welcome. Oh, I did it. I magicked. Oh, I magicked. Alright. Is he gonna answer with the mask on? Can I talk to him? Probably not. Hey there, dude. No. It's locked. Alright, never mind. Not, not helpful. Okay. Now what? Yeah, I need to go to the postman's house in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna head that direction. Flower says, I 100 percent this game like a month ago. It was my first playthrough. It's a fun game. Well, first playthrough, man. Well. I am glad you had a good time. It has been a very long time since it since my first playthrough of this game. Uh, it is absolutely spectacular. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna try and do this the right way. Four, five, six. Yeah. Wah! Who startled me? Did not disrupt my training. In my mind, I'm running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me. This is quite difficult. Yes, I will try. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds. In the precise moment you don't you think you hit 10 seconds on the dot, press A again. Ten forty one fuck. I'm pretty sure that was input lag. Because the dun happened like almost half a second after I hit the button. Alright, that's fine. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. You look like you want to try again. I'll let you try. It'll cost two rupees. Yeah, let's do it. Ten thirty. Okay. Okay. What I need to do is... Yeah, I do want to try again. It'll cost you four rupees. No, two rupees. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to count. I'm going to ignore when the time says, and when it says it started, I'm just going to count ten seconds in my head from when I actually hit the button. So. Ah, it's getting closer. Okay. There's input lag. I can't do anything about the fucking input lag. All right. I'm whining, I'm whining, but it's for good reason. I should be good at this. I should be good at this. All right, yeah, I'm getting much closer. I can do it, okay. I just need to be slightly early, again, because of the input lag, so. Use all my rupees. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Ah. Okay, here's what I need to do. I'm gonna take off my headphones. The 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 clicking is throwing me off. Out of rupees. It's to the millisecond, which is so hard. Man, I'm getting freakishly close though, but All right, I don't have any more rupees, so that's it. I spent 10. I'll get some more. And I'll get some more rupees eventually, and I'll, I'll keep going. I do actually need to do that though. Like, it is honestly embarrassing to me that I can't do this right. And yes, fine, I am just, I am whining. Just openly whining about the um, input lag. But still, it bothers me. Try again, shall we? I will say, though, taking off my headphones made a huge difference. I just jumped the gun ever so slightly. Tenth of a second. Says I've been trying. To, I've been meaning to try the Bioshock series. I heard they're an excellent Ayn Rand parody. Yeah, kind of. Although it's yeah. the first one is is basically um, a criticism of Randian objectivism. The second one is basically a criticism of the default. It's almost like a defense of Randian objectivism. Um, oh, it's free if you just leave and come back. Are you serious? Wow, I'm stupid. All right, well, anyway. Yeah, but the second one is, uh, as far as I understand, I have not played the second one, um, but it's a much more like a defense of Randian objective. So, all right, let me get this in. Ah, all right, I can try again. No, I'm not gonna try again because this is dumb. I'm just going to keep my headphones off because I'm not gonna just put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off. That's silly. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Yes, I will try. I'm getting worse now. I'm getting worse. I don't know why I'm getting worse. I don't know why. I mean, I can do it with a timer, but... If I can even do it, I don't even know. I wonder if the problem really is the input lag. If I'm, if I'm not just whining about that. I thought I was just whining, but... Maybe there's a real problem there. I don't know. I forget what the deal here is. This training center is friendly, polite, 24 hour, one on one, one, -on -one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. Excuse me. Now, until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So you try it. Let's do the novice course. Hmm. The novice course. Now then, before you draw your sword, I shall teach you the basics of unarmed combat. I'll start with sideways jumps. After pressing L to lock onto the log with L targeting. Okay, I don't know. Right yourself. 
What? I yeah, I stepped too far back. All right, whatever. Yeah, okay. Next to the roll attack. Begin. Next to the backflip. Begin. All right. Now think of that log as an enemy and practice your sword skills. There's the sword horizontal cut. Begin. Next is the vertical cut. Begin. Oops! That was a slash. All right, let's try again. Next is the thrust. Begin. Find the jump attack. Here's the jump attack. Well done. Do not forget what I have taught you thus far, and do not neglect neglect your daily practice. And yes, oh yes, you can press R to defend yourself with your shield. Did you know that? Yes, sir. Yes, Sensei, I knew. All right, well, anyway. That was uh, a waste of a rupee, but that's fine. It's fine. All right, what else? Uh, what else we got going? Um, North Lockdown at night, I guess, for the, uh, the theft quest. And then... Shoot, I forget what time it is. Does anybody know offhand, like right offhand, what time the thief comes by? Oh no. Oh, yeah, Bay's absolutely right. Yeah, um, honestly, so, okay. Uh, Bay says, uh, oh, it's midnight? Damn it. I can't do the Angie quest and this one at the same, in the same cycle, can I? Shoot. Shoot. Um. The Anju quest doesn't lead anywhere until I at least get to Ikana, right? So I can skip that this time. Right? I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Yeah, okay. But yeah, the 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 cafe and Andrew quest can't I can't actually do anything for that yet. Right? Right? Or can I? to meet in the kitchen at 11.30. Yeah. The face mask. Oh yeah, Gara Gara. That's right. Forgot. Talk to him while I'm waiting. Yeah, I knew I, I knew I couldn't finish it. Now it's 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 one of the most in-depth uh, quests in the game, and I know you can't finish it until you've almost completed all four temples. Um, you don't have to actually. I don't think you have to compete complete the Akana Canyon temple, um, but you have to be pretty close. <laughs> so that was much too loud when I practiced in my room. Think up man, decide now I'm sad. I think I'll just I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Oh yes, I'll do that. Dear dear guest, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the why was why was the dog the leader? Why was was it because something wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I, why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. Yay, Bremen mask. 
parading around tiny young animals. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. Cool. That's absurd, but alright, cool. Cool nonetheless. Alright. Um, do you have to use that thing at all other than in uh, the, uh, Romani Ranch? With the chickens? Is there anything you do with it other than that? I don't think... I, I can't think of anything else that, you, that I know you can do with it other than that. else to do before midnight? I'm trying to think if there is anything important. Hey, there we go. Excuse <coughs> me. I'm trying to think if there's anything important I can do before midnight. I mean, I could do more of the, uh, Deku maze. But I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I could waste my 10 rupees practicing, I suppose. I suppose I'll go do that. Why not? Mm. Uh, on the other hand, I only have two and a half minutes. Never mind. I am going to heal the dancer. Um, I could do that tonight, actually. Now that I think about it, after midnight, after I do, after I do the, the thiefy thing, I could do that. Now that, now that, now that you mention it, good thinking. Now I forget where he is, but I should be able to find him. I know he's out there in the field somewhere. By Ikana, right? So in the what? West? Or is it east? The bay is to the west. The mountains north. And the the canyon is east, right? Or is that or is or am I getting the bay and the canyon flipped? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. More of the ice mushrooms. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, no, I remember that. I remember that. That's right. Um. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Um, I forget. I need the I need the bow to get a Pona, right? Right? So I can't get her until after Woodfall, if I remember correctly. Okay, almost midnight. I'm gonna song of double time it. Or, no, I'm gonna song of in reverse time it, whatever. So they're not going so fast. What is it, not midnight? Oh, yeah, there she is. There's the lady. Do I have to be hidden? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just frozen in place. Got it. Oh, I need the powder keg. 
to get a Pona. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, that's right, because uh Epona is how you get to the uh to the bay. Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back. Hey there. Get back here! Oh, shit. Alright. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with him, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put him out tomorrow. Yes, it must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. Oh, goody. You're one of my favorite, honestly. I love the last mask. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. But you guarded the old woman's luggage. This was a new notebook. Delightful. Alright, um... I absolutely love the blast mask. Of course, it is crucial to remember to only use it with the shield up. Stop right there! Have you an errand in the mountains? It's dangerous at night, so I can't allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. I was wrong. It was wrong to treat of me to treat you like a child. You can shoot the bag with an arrow and kill Sackum? Really? I did not realize that. The mountains of Snowhead lie this way. Be careful. I did not realize you could kill him. All right, Termina Field. Termina. What was that sound? What in the world is that horrible sound? It's some kind of vile creature, I know that. Um. Hey, here he is. How do I get over there? Just hop up and then hop over, yeah? That's familiar music! part of the living, my sadness to the moon. I've left my dance to the world and filled with regret. Uh. I'm disappointed, O oh moon. I've died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. The spirit dancer, Kamara, was out of here. It's okay, I will heal you. I still, I still love the world building concept. The song, the song of healing, it's so cool. Oh. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Ah. I've taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. We got the Camaro's mask. I... Oh, God, I've never realized that it was his head stitched on top of you. That's horrifying. He used to teach this dance to the world so his moves can become so popular as he would have hoped they would. Oh. I'm counting on you. Translation, I'm counting on you. Okay. He became the dancer's successor. <laughs> Love it. Oh, it's those. That's right. I hate those. Everyone hates those. Whatever those diggy, diggy tunnel things are. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go blow up that rock. There's a rock over there, and I have the bomb mask, so I'm gonna blow it up. Shut up, Chew Jelly. Nobody likes you. You're gross. The driveway across the street, just sitting with their car facing outwards with their headlights on. Why do people do this? Right in my window. It's like my heart. It's like my heart is being peered right into. That's a disturbing eye. 
Blow it up! Launch! Oh, boom. Do I, is, there, is there any use for this? I mean, there's a song that I can do something about with them. I forget. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, song healing. Okay. I'll do that. We can come back and then do it. That makes sense. Everything is either the song... Everything's the song of healing in this game. I forgot. That's like the multi-purpose magic bit. Fairy. They don't have a bottle, so it's only so useful, but still nice. Sweet. Alright, um, I do want to go down... I want to go back down there, because there was a song inscribed on the, uh, on the wall. What is this? It's an Eno. It's persistent. It's subject to the heat. Just died already. Do you need that? Oh, look, another hole. Let's sit down the hole. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Do I get something for killing both of them or not? I'm sure I do, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, that didn't help me. Lordy, okay. Of these bombs do I need to bomb it? There we go. Okay. It's gonna explode. Ooh, that's a big ruby. Okay, that's all though. It's 50 rupees, so. Alright, I'm not gonna kill the other one because I don't need 50 more rupees, so I'm out of here. Jeez. Jeez. Alright, that was that was uh troubling. It's just rupees. Idea. Ah! You bastard. No. Don't want ya. Don't want to deal with this. I'm out of here. I need to. I need. I need. I need help. Ooh. Back into town where it's safe. Oh, it's not safe. There's a keys. Not a keys. There's a bird. Whatever. A bird thing. Uh, Alright, this isn't gonna help me. Oh, I can go to the Great Fairy, though. She'll, she'll heal me up. Right, I'll get a thing to turn off the alarm. Man, having three heart containers after coming right off the end of Ocarina of Time is kind of rough. Kind of rough, not gonna lie. Yep, I need healthies. I need healies real bad. Thanks, please. Welcome, Link. Ease your weariness. Yay. Thanks. Thanks. Um, before night is over, I need to take the, the Garu Garu mask. Not the Garu Garu mask. The, um, whatever. The dancey mask. To the two dancer ladies. And they give me something cool. Maybe a heart container. I forget. Or a heart piece. Tomorrow's mask, that's it. 
in West Locktown. Okay. This is literally what they were just doing, so I don't know what I'm teaching them, but whatever. Whatever. I'm not teaching them to do anything they weren't literally just doing. The guard likes watching with its exposed kneecaps. Thank you for teaching us those steps. <laughs> You're a master. Okay. Oh, hey, there we go. Sweet. You stole the hearts of the dancers. This was added to your notebook. They have a different dance. Oh, okay. Master, you're so cool. Yep, true. All right, now they don't have a different dance. Now they're doing it. All right, let's check the curiosity shop. Shall we? I have 80-something rupees. I might even be able to buy something. Who knows? Hi. I'm in. Tonight, I got nothing to sell, kid. I kid you not. Can I buy something? I'll pay you good for it. Show it to me with C. Anything I can sell? Not really. I can sell them bombs? You want some bombs? Sorry, but I can't sell that here. Not a sit. <laughs> Thanks, come in again. The man from the curiosity shop was added to your notebook. What do I need to do for him? I know he's involved in the cafe in Andrew's side west. But, oh, only right near the end of the... Okay, right near the end. That's right. Um, bomb trap lady, I already... She's done. Excellent. Mr. Detour... Nothing really to do there. Oh, Toto, I can go to the Indigo Ghosts. I can go to the, the concert, right? I think. Um. Oh, I should also ask him about Cafe. Hey, we have a no mask policy. What? I didn't think I'd see nobody wearing a mask like that no more, but uh, here's one. So the door's wife is making you search for him like this, eh? Doesn't look like a thing in like him really then again i guess it does so uh hey yeah uh, i want you to leave now that was sketchy uh yes i actually yeah no you're right i can i can upgrade my wallet uh i don't think i need them at the moment but i am gonna go real quick first to uh shoot who was i gonna go to oh the milk bar milk bar that's right i'm gonna do that first um so it doesn't hit daylight first time is a factor this game, very much so. I'm gonna see if I can get into the- oh wait, do I need to get into the- do I need the, um... Do I need to do something at Long Long Ranch in order to get the milk bar? In order to get into the milk bar or something, or what? Or can I just go in, there's just nothing going on. Welcome, please show proof of members- oh yeah, yeah. Need a cow mask, that's right. Okay, now you're right. Alright, I need to deposit rupees. And I'm probably going to call it a night soon. There's not much more I can do in this cycle, really. Uh, there probably is. There's a thing or two later, I think. Hmm. Oh. What this? You need something? Deposit 83. Let me take a look at you. Okay. Let's just put them all in. That's a lot. A lot, a lot. All right, 293. For 39. What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees. Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. How much is the next big prize? And what is it? Is it the giant's wallet or something? Or is, it, is there something else? 
This is for adults, so it holds a lot of rupees. You can now carry up to 200. See? Doesn't it hold more than one year old one? Fill it up and bring it all in to deposit. Uh, how, where do I get the bunny hood? Is it with the, the postman? And that actually allows me to do the, 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 the time quest better. Um, let me see. Anything else to do? I don't think so. Um, Postman. Yeah, it's the night of the final day. He has a special thing going on. I forget what his thing is in the morning of the second day. There's something separate there, and I forget what it is. Granny, I need the all-night mask in order to listen to her stories. Both of them. Mr. T Detour, I need to find Cafe. Anju, a lot of stuff going on there. Curiosity Shop is involved in the Cafe and Anju quest. Oh, I can upgrade my bomb bag tomorrow. Okay, that's good. Alright, sweet. I need rupees for it, so I'm gonna have to um, withdraw some, I assume. Right? I have to buy the upgrade? I'll see how much it is. It's fine. Oh, that's right. I can get, uh, I can buy a lottery ticket, find out what the winning numbers are on the third day, and then just cash it in forever. Right? Basically? Welcome. 90 rupees. All right. Yeah, all right, cool. Let me get, let me withdraw at least 90 rupees. Forget, is there anything else I will get from the bank for just depositing a heck ton? Big bomb bag. Carry up to 30 bombs. Thank you. Not that I really need that, but. Um. We can do the advanced. Class. I think that's a heart piece, right? I have the rupees for it. Let's do the expert course. The expert course is a practice session. Cut down 10 logs using the highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you shall be taught all the secrets. Are you prepared? Yes, it is all jump attacks. Everyone has to be a jump attack. I don't know why jump attack is the most difficult or sophisticated technique, but whatever. I mean, to be fair, the game is rather limited in its combat, so... Hmm, impressive. I must give you something. Here. Yay! Alright. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. All right, that's it, I guess. Mm. Nice. Double damage. Wait. How, how do I get double damage from him? I thought that was just with the um, the Gilded Sword. Oh no, the, the jump attack is double damage. Okay, that's what you mean. That's what you mean. I thought it was a I thought it was an upgrade. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I can't get a lottery ticket. Like the chance to buy your dreams for 10 rupees? Any three numbers, and if those are picked, you win 50. Only for the first person. No.
I mean, I know the Gilded Sword is double damage. Um, alright, now what? Uh, is there anything else I can do? On the second or third day. We got a fair number of masks already. I don't know how to get up to there. It's probably another hookshot thing. Um, huh. Grandma, don't be standing around there looking at your feet all day. Bunnyhood Lon Lon Ranch Day 3. Oh, Lon Lon Ranch Day 3. Oh, I thought it was the, um, the, what's his name? The, uh, shoot, what's his name? The, the, the postman. I get his hat or whatever, right? On the night of the lo night of the final day, right? Night of the final day. If I convince him to leave town, and I forget how to do that, but if I convince him to leave town, basically I, I've like helped him, um, helped him get over his uh, his fear and whatnot. Uh, uh, which way is the ranch? Oh, that's right. I wanted to get a, uh... Shoot. Ranch is southeast. That's right, I wanted to get the map, which I need 30 rupees for, which isn't too bad. I can get, like, 30 rupees for that. Put the last mask on. I'm just equip it. So I'm ready for it. I will do that, and then I will call it a night. Because it is almost midnight, and at some point I am going to have to do my nice little song of time savey savey thing. Oh, it's that thing. That stupid bird. Nope. Don't you dare. Don't you come near me, bird. This is it, right? Dang. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Um... Excellent. I was going to leave. Oh, for the Cafe and you, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to get the baby to sleep. Yeah, I will take care of that very shortly. I will be just a... Basically, I'm going to wrap this up, and then... So I might be, like, five minutes over, I guess, but that's all. Um, I don't have... I only have four rupees. That is not enough. Wait. I'm not going to have enough for the mask. It's fine. Yeah, that bird is horrible. This stupid bird. Maybe the second day. Don't have the third day. Yeah, I forget what you need to do to get the postman to leave, but yeah, it is it is rather sophisticated. Uh, it's a rather complex sort of thing. Let's do this.
I opened the way. Good. Let's go. That moon is too close. I don't like it. Oh. Or, uh... Her name is what? Is it Romani? Or is that the big sister's name? Okay. So what I need is... Remin Mass. Over here. Now, what is that? The barn over there. Forget. Crimea. Yeah, that's it. Crimea is the. It's the little girl. All right. Do to do to do 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 do. Actually, wait, no, I want to talk to the guy first, so I have some context. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Oh well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. Grog was added to your notebook. Hey, bird. Give me burbos. I mean, honestly, this is a good note to end on, I think. I kind of hate the earthquakes that happen every half an hour on the last day, though. kind of hate that. That's uh, a really, really dark, very stark reminder of uh, you know what is to come. And, uh, hmm, hmm, not a fan. Not a fan! Oh yeah, I love the the recycling character models. With some modifications. Like I don't remember, I don't think he had a mohawk in the last game. They did change that, but but they used the same models basically with a few minor changes to to like all of them. And it's basically the idea of course is that Termina is this like dark reflection of Hyrule, not dark reflection, but this this like weird or inverted reflection of Hyrule. So nice. See, it is like a... This is so perfect of that within that theme. Of that little glimmer of hope. Right before... That glimmer of hope in the face of destruction. In the face of death. It's a very Memento Mori game. And there's something to really love about that. I don't really get it. But just seeing these guys with the crest and all... I don't have regrets about anything anymore. Perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Money hood, sweet. <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> yeah, oh no, true. If the earth were that, if the moon were that close, there would be way more than earthquakes. It would be horrendous. You fulfilled the wishes of youth. It was added to your notebook. All right, cool. Let's call it. I only have like seven rupees or whatever. Momentous Mori. Yeah? Yeah? No, I, oh, I like that. I like that. I like that turn of phrase. All right, let's call it there. So, let's go back in time. Let's call it a night. So thank you all so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time. I love this game so much. Um, and it's also a perfect game to start uh, during the right at the end of Lent, right there in the Triduum, on Holy Thursday. I, I think this is a great time to start this game and everything. So... I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. I'm going to keep loving it next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you then, probably Tuesday. Um, and until then, uh, have a blessed rest of Lent for what's left of it. Have a blessed Triduum. And have a wonderful, happy Easter. And of course, you know, the, with the little chicks following us around, the little peeps following us around. Perfect ending, leading us right into Easter. So, all right. Anyway, I will see you then. So thanks again for joining me. I had a wonderful time. I hope you did too.
I'll see you next time. Remember, don't be safe, be well, and more importantly, be good. Good night, folks.